Hey you! Yes you! Are you trying to figure out how to use eye facial mocap with V Magic Mirror? I mean, it's a pretty specific issue, but I'm here to help. This will just be a short run through of how I use these two programs together for facial tracking on my model. Some notes first. I am assuming that you have a sufficiently beefy computer. Second, that you have an applicable .vrm model to use, either from Vroid Studio, Vroid Hub, or elsewhere. So, V Magic Mirror. It's free and doesn't require a camera. It's really great if you're just starting out as a VTuber and don't have a lot of money. Download here, see description for a direct link. Now, eye facial mocap. It's not free, devastating, I know. However, it is cheaper than buying a webcam at $7.99. If you've got an iPhone or an iPad with iOS 13.1 or later, it's a good option. It makes use of Apple's Face ID, which is a very well-developed technology and provides very accurate face tracking. So once you've confirmed your device's compatibility, page your $7.99, downloaded the app, go ahead and open it up. There's a few options here that you can change in it, but I think it's generally good enough to just plug and play. I would just probably not mess with anything except to just turn on the character face. Uh, feel free to mess with it, but I won't go into it now. At the top of the screen, find the IP address listed there. That will be entered into vMagic Mirror to connect. Note that your computer and phone need to be connected to the same network to link. Now open vMagic Mirror. So start off by selecting your VRM file here using the load file on PC. I'll select my typical model that I use. It'll ask you to, to confirm that you're allowed to use the model uh, and what requirements there are on it. Make sure it's yours to use, of course. And it'll load up pretty easily. Now we need to go ahead and link it to the external tracker. You'll start with the ex.tracker up at the top. From there, can scroll down and enable the external tracker and apply lip sync using external tracker. Right below that is the connect to app area where you can select iFacial mocap and put in that IP address that was listed on your phone. Hit connect and oh, your face is connected now. Now you can hit calibrate face pose as well as using the look forward button on iFacial mocap to get things to line up the way you want. Just kind of sit in the position that you're expecting yourself to be in and hit both of these buttons one after the other and it should get you all set up. Well, I think that's that. Hopefully I covered everything that you want to know. Uh, if not, I'm sorry, but hey, it is what it is. Thanks for watching. Peace out.